Hello, welcome back to the Mission 40 series. Week four recap today. And as is normal on a Tuesday afternoon, the weather is grim. So I guess week four recapped. See what I did last week. How my run's going. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Okay, so run done. Yeah, the weather turned a little bit quickly. We came like a monsoon rain shower. I tried to capture a bit of it. Uh, see, I couldn't quite, couldn't quite get the uh, vlog done. It would have been unfil unfilmable. So uh, I've carried on on my run, and then I was next to the main road. So I ended up finishing the run before I actually had time to do the recap. In terms of the week four stuff. So I'll do it now. Just on my little walk back home. So yeah, week four as normal Monday easy run. Again, as I've been mentioning the previous week weekly recaps, I'm just going to incrementally creep it up a little bit though again the more mileage the uh the fitter i get generally obviously i'm going to intersperse up with the other speed stuff etc but yeah uh, but this week um i was a bit short of time so my planned extra run on wednesday i moved to monday so i did a nice easy extra run there just a shorter one oh well, yes this is on screen as normal 7k 4.3 miles a uh, nice easy pace again uh, 504 per k or 809 per mile so again, nice easy start to the week, but that was my shorter, easy extra run. My fifth run of this week is going to be. Tuesday, we're at today, as always, is my long run. Uh, 17k uh, was the plan, but I ended up doing 16.1k, 10 miles bang on. Uh, just getting a bit short of time, and the route just lended itself to that kind of distance. And again, the normal distance, is we, I, I hit this pace pretty much every week. Uh, it was, yeah, 447 per k, or 742 per mile. Again, I'm not really watching my watch, I'm just running at a set pace. And it's weird how every, every week it seems to be that pace exactly. And then I uh, finished with a bit of stretching and rolling that evening, just to get the legs to recover. On Wednesday, I did my scheduled easy run from Monday. So it was 13K, about eight miles at, again, similar pace, 5.04 per K or 8.09 per mile, which is my nice, again, all I, have, all I have on my easy runs now is my heart rate on my watch, I've got on my display. I don't worry about pace and I just run on low heart rate trying to stay below the 140s mid 140s at the highest but generally trying to stay below 140 for as much of the run as I can and I just run on feel a nice easy pace so yeah that was a again a slightly longer run so I think I did a 10 11 12 and now I've done 13k creeping up again like I mentioned but each week on week four Thursdays is again normally my conditioning day so again did a bit of strength and conditioning this week made sure I, I was a bit more strict made sure I got the workout done I've been kind of putting it off and leaving it to the weekend and then things have cropped up. So yeah, got it done. It was back and call this week. And then again, I squeezed in another short recovery session uh, that evening as well on Thursday. So I did a bit of both just to get the legs to recover and did a bit of conditioning on the on the, on the the upper body really. And, and then I always look forward to Fridays. My legs have recovered over Wednesdays and Thursdays generally. And then I get to go into my speed session on Friday, jump in the Takumis. Uh, so this week it was 800 meter repeats and then into 250 meter repeat so it was uh, I think it was a K warm-up again I put these on the screen 1k warm-up and then it was 800 meters with a one minute uh, walk in recovery into 250 meters interval and then a three minute recovery and then I repeated that six times um, really, really really good workout really enjoyed it obviously it was intensive challenging high heart rate again I'm still fairly new to sh the shorter faster interval stuff but I'm starting to feel a bit more of a benefit from it the more I do it the stronger I'm getting um, and again, pretty much in the last few weeks, the interval plan, the paces I was planning on running, I've managed to run quicker than that, so that's probably a good sign. I'm, I'm still running on feel, I'm not burning myself out too much, but I'm able to run a faster pace than, than I would have predicted prior to the workout. Yeah, the overall workout was 10.5k, 
six and a half miles and average pace was 520 per k or 833 per mile but again that included all the walking intervals and sorry all the walking recoveries um, but i managed to hold uh, i'll put the averages on the on the screen for the 800 meter average pace and the 250 meter average pace so it's pretty happy like I said, happy with the workout overall legs feel good again it gives me that time to recover saturday another recovery session i had a bit of time and again i feel my, more, more the more recovery i do it helps to get them legs recovered it's in over the last few weeks that cv wise i'm feeling pretty good it's just the legs have felt a bit uh jay did a bit fatigued so i felt like another squeeze in another workout another um recovery session would be a benefit so i got again i got a little roll in it's been more stretching loosened off the uh, lower legs and the quads etc that was saturday and that rolls straight to sunday last uh, run of the week was not again not normally it's a tempo session also i've got a, a race that i'm pacing so week four i did a tempo run 10k total uh, 6.2 miles and average pace ended up being 424 per k or 705 per mile but it was broken into a uh, three by 2k so 1k warm-up 2k blast 1k float 2k blast 1k float 2k blast and then a 1k cool down so yeah 10k total uh, 6k hard running 4k of floating or warm up and cool down and again the plan was to try and get somewhere near goal 10k pace for the uh, three 2k blocks and obviously goal is sub 41 so obviously 40 minutes something the mission 40 so that's between obviously my plan was between four minutes flat and 405 per k and i managed to average 404 for all um three of the 2k so obviously all 6k was 404 per k average so i'm happy with that I take that i'm sure i'm somewhere near goal i managed to hold goal pace um so yeah i'm feeling pretty pretty pretty, pretty confident at the minute again if you haven't if you want to drop a um, um, prediction in the comments feel free to do so um, I'm hoping I can get sub 41 when I get around to the time trial. But yeah, the way I'm feeling, running faster than um, just below 41 minutes would be obviously a bonus. Um, and time will tell. I said we're about halfway now, week four, so I've got four more solid weeks of training. I'm going to do a bit of a mild recovery week on the ninth week, and then some point in that week I'll be getting out for the for the solo time trial and setting the fastest time I can possibly run in the 10k and whatever that might be we'll, we'll find out so yeah totals for the week yeah so with the extra run I managed to squeeze out 56k 35 miles so again another solid week of miles that's kind of the rough plan around the 50k mark one hit my annual target of closer to 3000k this year uh, but obviously also just for 10k training I think 50k 35 miles would probably be sufficient especially with the intensity of of what I'm doing um, in the structure of all the four runs individually and then yeah 233 meters of elevation gain 764 feet so slightly less elevation than last than last week but again um kind of dictated by the runs and the routes i'm picking there's no real plan in terms of i'm not i, I do I don't, i'm not seeking out hills specifically but i'm trying to get as much in as i can that fits into the training um regime but yeah I'll wrap it up there so that's week four done like i said we're halfway now thanks for following along those are watching along i said four weeks down four weeks to go um, feeling pretty good, let's say no injury niggles, no real pressure points or anything like that flaring up. Um, I'm feeling pretty good, especially fitness wise. The legs are holding up, and like I said, the more recovery I'm going to try and do, and obviously with the conditioning, we're trying to strengthen the legs as we go along. But it will put me in good stead. I said this is a building block into the next block, which will be half marathon training, and then into my marathon block, which I need to be ready for. So yeah, I'll wrap it up there. I'm going to get in and get dry and get warm. It's absolutely freezing and bounce down there. I'm absolutely soaked. But yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Hope your running's going well. Drop in the comments if you've got any queries, questions, or comments generally. I respond and, and see all comments. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Do really appreciate it. Happy running, and I'll see you all on the next one.